How's it going guys? We're in a gym in Houston with Leading Edge Performance. They're gonna put us through our paces for a pre-season training session. Liam, what's in store for us today? We're excited to have you in Houston. Uh, we're gonna go through a bit of a cricket specific workout and add some fun in towards the end. Uh, a bit of a death over, we like to call it, to put you guys through the paces. Cool. Uh, I'm sure Ollie will explain a bit more about what we're going to do. Yeah, so we'll, we'll take you through a typical workout, give you a warm up, get, get the heart racing. Um, and then we'll take you through some exercises that you typically do in a pre-season session. So Fantastic. hopefully you'll enjoy it. Fantastic. Enjoy it. Maybe not. That's not the right <laughs> word. I'm a bit nervous, um, but let's get cracking. Very, very nervous. <laughs> I've been running for pre-season, not in the gym with a World Cup winner. So going to be really put through the paces here. Right, let's get into it. Starting with the warm-up. I'm going to hand over to Ollie to talk us through the workout. The exercises that we used included the world's greatest stretch, which opens up the hips and also rotates the spine. We had some adductor or groin movements to open up the hips even further. And then some more dynamic rotation of the lower back and spine as you're on the ground. Nice uh, casual warm up led by Ollie. Uh, now we're gonna go and do some more dynamic movement uh, in the little grotto we've got. So uh, yeah, let's get the body going. Progressing the warm up into more dynamic and more high intensity movements. Again, focusing on the lower body and the spine to make sure that we prepare the right parts of the body for what's to come. Again, rotation of the legs, swinging inwards and outwards. We also use resistance bands to activate the hip muscles to help engage the glutes and help stabilize our pelvis for the other movements. We also included some running mechanics and some more power-based preparation work. This included wall drills, where we're looking to drive hard into the ground with each leg as well as the A skips and B skips to get the more dynamic warm up of the legs. This will help produce power in the exercises that will follow later, as well as help improve running technique for when you are running and sprinting, when you're playing and training. For the main exercises, we looked to perform our power exercises first. So these are explosive movements where we're trying to move the weight as quickly as possible. The first one we did was a deadlift supersetted with broad jumps. So we're using a relatively high weight to prepare the body and increase the stimulation of the muscles and then turn that strength and that neural activation into power and explosive movement. First time ever for me doing a deadlift, weirdly, uh, but as a club cricketer, it's gonna be interesting to see what, what the pros do. So yeah, talk me through it. Yeah, this is a great exercise. Um, really good for, for a lot of different things, um, particularly your leg strength. Um, so just to break it down, the key things for you are gonna be keeping your alignment of your knees over your toes. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be um, controlling your pelvis. So if you think about your pelvic tilt and the arch of your lower back, you wanna find the position that you're happy with and then you wanna brace. So squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes. Yep. If this stays on, your pelvis stays secure. Grab the bar, yep. find your pelvic position and brace. You're gonna take the slack out of the bar and then think about pushing the ground away oh. as you stand up. Yep, nice. then on the way down, hips, into your legs, push the ground away, up, hips, down. We did a similar exercise with the upper body with a chest press, and then we looked at doing a weighted ball throw, which again is a power-based exercise where we are looking to stabilize our lower body and explosively throw the ball with our upper body, making this a full body exercise very specific to cricket. So what we're gonna do with this one, this is kind of a half kneeling rotation. So you've got that split stance here, which is gonna keep your pelvis forward and you're gonna create that dissociation between your pelvis and your hip. So you're getting rotation up here. As Liam pulls, he's gonna rotate his spine and then pull with his upper body. So he's generating that pulling strength whilst also getting that rotation and core work as well. Goblet squat is another excellent exercise so we can add weight to a squat pattern. Um, squats are very important for moving a lot of the lower body as well as keeping good stability and strength. Uh, translates very well over into a lot of the movements that you'll see in most sports. Following this, a weighted ball slam. This is a great exercise again for producing power. It simulates the movements of cricket really well and allows you to produce high force. Right, time for a death overs workout. What have we got on the board? Yeah, so you guys have done a bit of a strength session. Uh, this is a bit like a conditioning day. This is how you're gonna buy out of the session. 
So you're going to have uh, three overs left in the game. Yeah. One over consists of six exercises, 30 seconds on each, and then you transition to the next one. So if you're going to do 30 seconds assault bike, 30 seconds rest, into battle ropes, into rower, so on, so on, so on. So yeah, let's see how three overs left in the game. We're going to see how you guys are after one over. But the, it is to push you. It's a cricket conditioning, a bit of fun. So let's get through it and see uh, we can put you guys to the sword. There we have it, we've survived the death overs. Thank you to Ollie and Liam for taking us through this workout. It really opened our eyes up to the different types of exercises you can do even at home to get you prepared for cricket. If you're interested in cricket specific strength and conditioning, then head to leadingedge-performance.com.